<laughs> He's kind of ugly voice, huh? Yeah, you're just such an ugly voice. Today, Yuka and I are visiting Cat Island. Uh, we're kind of excited to visit this place because uh, we like cats. I'm pretty sure the whole internet likes cats. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting place because there's actually like six times more cats than people on this island. So apparently there's only 100 people living on the island. So if there's six times the cats, then that means there's 600, at least 600 cats on the island. So with cat stats like that, how could we not go? So when we got off the ferry, there's cats to greet us pretty much straight away. Check out this cool guy. He's just hanging out in the bushes, scoping things out. Oh, what's that? I don't know, but I'm a cat! So why are there so many cats on the island anyways? Well, during the Edo era, the local people on the island were growing silkworms to make silk. There was a lot of mice that really liked silkworms. But obviously the local people didn't like mice eating their silkworms, so they brought in the cats. My wife Yuka was having a great time with the cats. Although she's got an interesting petting position here. I don't think she's a little afraid to get too close. But one of the reasons Cat Island's so cool is that the locals have embraced it as well. Like they've painted up all these fishing boys to look like cats, and there's lots of cute like little cat art all over the island. There's even a cat toilet paper holder. It's perfect! And then in the middle of the island they have this cat shrine, which is super cool. There's all these cat figurines and cat stuff. And then the cats hang out here too as well. So it's kind of cool. So apparently the story behind this shrine is that some fishermen accidentally killed a cat when they were moving some rocks. But I guess they felt bad enough about it that they decided to build a shrine. There's also this cool Buddhist temple at the northern end of the island. Here's Yuka showing how to properly pray to the temple. It's, it's a very specific order, you need to do it right. We also met this lady who came over from Vancouver as well. And she brought cat toys with her and the cats were loving it. So this sign actually shows how high the 2011 tsunami came. And the tsunami didn't actually go that high on the island because it's protected by a nearby peninsula. But the locals think that the cats are good luck. Some people actually think that the cat population helped save the island. But since we had our bikes with us, we were able to travel around to different spots of the island that I think most people aren't able to go. And they're actually quite beautiful. We saw a sign that said there was a temple at the end of this path. So we decided, oh, let's go check it out. But it was kind of overgrown and there's actually a lot of spiders living on this path too. So that's why Yuka's like waving around that stick. But I really love the Japanese forest. It's so green and lush. And we don't get to see bamboo ever in Canada either. But here we finally got to the temple. Uh, I guess it's not that used anymore because there's not so many people living on that island anymore. Apparently in the 50s there was over a thousand people living on the island. After the temple we continued our bike ride around the island, but on the southern tip the view of the Pacific Ocean was quite stunning. Eventually we got to the area of the island called Manga Island and they got these really cool guest houses there. But after our awesome day with the cats, it was time to go home. Our ferry had arrived and we didn't want to miss it. I just got to give a shout out to my patrons this week. I got two new $15 donors and they are Karina and Bob Spotta. Thanks so much guys and thanks to all my other Patreons. You guys are making my channel possible and I'm going to keep working hard for you guys. Thanks so much. And for those that are new to the channel, uh, this is what I'm normally doing, riding my bike, trying to show the best trails in the world. So if you're into mountain biking or Japan, consider subscribing. And I just want to mention that all my patrons get to see my videos a week early. So if you're interested and you want to help out, I'd love for you to visit patreon.com slash bcpov.